what I'm saying. So I'm sitting in Georgia and I'm watching TV and one of the things I realized about the South, they got a lot of preachers on Sunday on television, right? So I remember I'm sitting there and I'm flicking the channel and I come across this guy by the name of John Hagee. Cl clap if you know who he is. Man, that dude is fire and brimstone. Armageddon coming at you full screen. I'm like, no way, next channel, right? So I flick over and I see this guy by the name of Noel Jones. Clap if you know who he is. That guy's vocabulary is too big. I had my Webster dictionary going, I can't keep up with that guy either. Flick the channel, I come across a guy, maybe you heard of him, Joel Osteen. Clap if you know him. Man, I like Joe. Joe, like, man, he makes me feel all warm and tingly when I hear him. This is my Bible. You know what I mean? The, the, the boy's like butter, like warm butter, like, like syrup, like warm syrup, like, I'm hungry, let's go to the Waffle House. You know what I mean? So, now Joe's a good friend of mine, not. And so I'm listening to Joe watching him on TV, and he told this story, and I like that story, and I came here to share that story with you. Now, here's the story. There were two farmers. There was the optimistic farmer and the pessimistic farmer. One day, it's raining. Optimistic farmer says, rain on down, rain on down, let my crops grow. Pessimistic farmer says, man, stop raining. My crops are going to drown. I'm going to go broke, broke, broke. Very next day, beautiful sunny day. Optimistic farmer says, man, shine on down, shine on down, let my crops grow. Pessimistic farmer says, man, son, go away. My crops are going to dry up. I'm going to go broke, broke, broke. The man, the pessimistic farmer, can't have a good day. Do you know anybody like that? I do too, right? One day, the optimistic farmer gets himself a new hunting dog, decides to go out duck hunting on the lake. At the last minute, he invites the pessimistic farmer along. Visualize this, if you will. In the boat, both farmers with the new dog. Optimistic farmer has his rifle pointed up in the air because he's thinking sooner or later, there's going to be a duck. Pessimistic farmer has it laid across his lap because he's thinking, taint never going to be a duck. Sure enough, quack, quack. Optimistic farmer takes one shot, hits the duck, comes, lands about 20 feet from the boat. At that very moment, the optimistic farmer tells his hunting dog, go get the duck. Man, that dog leaps out of the boat, walks on top of the water, <laughs> grabs the duck in his mouth, turns around, walks back on top of the water into the boat and lays the duck at his master's feet. Man, the optimistic farmer couldn't be prouder. Looks over at the pessimistic farmer and says, man, what'd you think of that? Pessimistic farmer says they stole your money. The dog can't swim. <laughs> Do you know people like that? All right. University of Phoenix, class of 2010, rule number one. Stay away from pessimistic people. Are you with me? Thank you.